Guten Tag. Uh, quick video here. Quick, quick video here in ref in reply to a question I had on one of my play like Lemmy of Motorhead. Well, it was Overkill uh, instructional video. Anyway, um, so do you have any tips as regards fretting hand muting? I keep trying to selectively mute the strings I don't need. So, so I'm muting the A string and playing a power chord in the D and G. Well, let's do that. I'll lay my middle finger lightly on the A string. Okay, so yeah, this is a, a very good point. Is muting really essential, I believe, in bass playing. So this sets up for to do a video about this. Mm -hmm. So going by that, I'll read the rest of it in a sec, second. But um, so let's do the power chord there. Let's say, in fact, let's, let's do it. Oh yeah, let's do it seventh fret and ninth fret on the D and G. Okay, so the... Um, so they've got their middle finger on the A to dampen it. And they're still getting, right, but I'm still getting some noise from the muted string. Which I'm guessing is because I'm either pressing down too much or not enough. I can do it on guitar, but it seems to be more difficult on bass, presumably because the strings are thicker. So what do I do? Lol. Um, yeah, it is. I believe it is. More, I believe you're correct. It's more difficult on the bass. So I've backed off the... Um, Drive or overdrive on this my amp so I get a cleaner sound. So I've got the middle finger on uh, the E and the A. If I hit the chord, I think arguably that's quite clean. If I push down too much starts to jar. If I don't do it enough, it's going to reverberate a little bit, the strings. Um, Matt, I totally get it. Uh, I I can just about <laughs> remember in the dim and distant past trying to get this. I always emphasize this point. People must be sick of it in the Lemmy videos. It's so important to get, because otherwise you get, and I'd said, oh, I've said this so many times, but I'll, I'll say it again. It's my video. It's my video and I'll do it if I want to. You know, you get these instructions, like how to play Lemmy bass. It's like, yeah, man, let me use your speech, yeah. And then they do that, you know. They do that sort of thing. Um, so, especially for hard rock bass, plectrum stuff, I think it's really important to get the, um, to get the muting, to take the time to um, get it so it becomes instinctive. You won't be thinking about that. Wonderful day will come and it will come. Trust me, it comes to everyone who's trying to do it. And then your bass playing just shoots up. Um, so anyway, um, so usually, so let's go uh, with reference to the question I got. Let's do that again, the chord. So I'm not even, and it will, what you use to mute will depend where your hand is. I mean, it also depends on size, like the things, of the, depends on things like the size of your hands. Like the scale of your bass, all this sort of stuff. Um, if I'm going up, I tend to bring the thumb over. And just then, I, I don't come to this video, I became just, I was aware of my thumb actually just, the first time I hit it, it was that, so I, I just pushed down slightly. I've still got the um, God, I saw this. They've got they've got elections tomorrow in Japan. They drive around these trucks with speakers on them all day long with this hysterical woman shouting to vote for the party. And it's anyway, so I hope it doesn't disturb the video. Doing my head in. Um, so you can use a thumb for that if you if you've got a long enough thumb. But that that you can develop that to come over. I've got quite small thumbs, so. Been a band of this guy, it's just ridiculous. His thumb was like a finger, it used to drape over the whole fretboard. It was like quite freaky. Or, uh, as in the question that I got asked there, I've got the thumb and the finger there. That's one thing. Or you can have the finger laying across both strings, and then yeah, it's, it's a case of just doing that. And if it's oh, okay, that's too much. Back it off. That's a sweet. Oh no, 
I've taken it off too much. Okay, so I think I've got it there. Oh, pushed on too much. No, you get one going. This. Just keep going it, and eventually. So I'm only playing the top two strings here. I'm playing across all four strings. think um, in terms of, I did an instructional video so I'm about uh, like Mean Machine by Motorhead so accurate and you've, you've got to play you won't get away of doing the thing it's not going to happen when you play then that's playing that's muting uh, so I did the chord before, but that one, that on, so that's the chord, say, A bar chord, A power chord, sorry. Got the thumb there, that's my personal preference, for the thumb actually, but because the video said, use the, um, it wasn't middle finger, wasn't it? Middle finger for that, I thought I was going off on a tangent there. But you can, you, it says in there, I put it on the A string, but you could, you could just, Rest on the E as well, then you go everything. If you just play the A by itself, but you had to play so fast, so that's when I would bring the thumb into play. And here's the trick basically. For the string above it, you could be, you could be on the your A string, say seven fret the A string or any string going up. But for the string above it, if you want to mute that, what am I trying to say here? Use the the finger that's pushing down, use that and rest it lightly on the string above if you want that muted. So Sam, I just I just want to play this A, but I want to, I don't want to do the thing. It's not going to you know, it's not going to work like I say. My thing here, I get the thumb across, and I also use this um, same finger that I'm fretting with. I just rest it lightly on the G. Now when you start off maybe. Like that's I'm pushing too much. I'm not doing it enough. And you, you've also got to worry about the thumb as well, which is muting two strings. So, so that might, you might be getting that. And you know you'll get one right, and then the other one goes crap, basically, um, and and vice versa. So it's yeah, it's just a pain in the ass. But when you get it, I'm trying. When you, when you get it, it's, yeah, it's choirs of angels. <laughs> um, yeah, but no, it really is. It just, it elevates the bass playing so much and it's so handy to have. And you will get it. And it took, took, took me a long time, it took me a while. So I would just, just resign yourself to playing like, you know, trying out of one note, always playing across all the strings. One thing is don't cheat yourself. Don't just, oh, I'll do two strings or I'll just, oh, I'll just one's all right. You know, I would really avoid that because it, ultimately it's just going to lead to bad habits and shortcuts just don't work. Play across all four strings until you're satisfied that you're choking or muting all the um, open strings that you don't want. They're not going to be open, you're just muting them. So I'm, I'm playing there. Got a clean sound on my, my amp. I'm only playing one note. But that's why I'm getting the, the rhythmic bass like a rhythm guitar type thing. Because I've learned I brought this thumb into play and I'm muting using that fretting finger to actually mute the G. But it's a case of experimentation, what suits you personally. As I say, hands are different sizes and fingers are different sizes, yada yada. So you have to go through the sort of the struggle and the, sometimes the pain of um, seeing what works for you. Just do it slow, just, and I say, don't cheat yourself, just keep going. <laughs> if you don't live on your own, it's probably best to do it when everyone's out of the house because I always drive more flat or whatever apartment because you're probably driving mad. Um, so yeah, just resign yourself to just playing one note. Oh no, that's not good. Ah, oh, there, I've got it. Oh no, that's not good. And 
then you don't have to think about it. So then, 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 let's sort of the mean machine, mean machine. Now. Um, okay, so that's some um, uh, a video there <coughs> uh, re muting, um, but using your um, fretting hand. This is as muting using your. Um, well, I'd say right hand, I'm right handed. Um, but I just looked at the fingers there uh, to give some pointers, some heads up, just to so not to go on too long. Um, just to reiterate, it does depend on the size of your hands and type of your bass and yada yada, but you'll figure out just by playing. The main thing is just to keep at it and be pretty strict on yourself. Don't don't look for any shortcuts or anything, because they're, if they're there, they're, they're, they don't work ultimately. And it's better just taking the pain and building a solid foundation. And then once you get it, it's it's, it's there. It, it's like riding a bike. You don't forget it, I, I, I believe. Um, all right. Uh, as ever, um, any comments, questions or ideas for videos, please do hit me up. Because it's always good to get that. So thank you to the um, gentleman, Jonathan, who gave me the idea for this video. And uh, see you next time. All right.